Hunter Biden released a statement through his father's transition office that revealed that he was under federal investigation related to what he said was his tax affairs. So we know from sources that this investigation is a tax investigation and it relates to his um, business dealings. We know from one source that it relates to something connected to China business dealings. We have no reason to think that this is any sort of politically motivated investigation or connected in any way to the rhetoric that we've heard from the president. We also don't have any reason to think that this has anything to do with a laptop that mysteriously surfaced in a Delaware repair shop. There's no indication at all that any of this has to do with the president-elect. The one thing that, that Hunter Biden did say in his statement is that he believes that when everything is said and done, this will be, this will be, um, he, he will be vindicated. I am not aware of any reaction yet from the White House. A Joe Biden Justice Department will inherit an investigation that relates to the president's son. That is not a good situation or a comfortable situation for the Justice Department to be in. I think it's important to note that Joe Biden, in contrast to President Donald Trump, has talked repeatedly about his Justice Department will be making its own decisions Joe Biden has not enjoyed on the campaign trail questions about Hunter Biden and Hunter Biden's business connections and Hunter Biden's laptop for obvious reasons, but there's no question this is not a topic that he enjoys. He's trying to roll out his cabinet. He's trying to move forward and building out his administration. Um, tomorrow, um, if the reporters were to see him, I'm sure this is going to be question number one, two, and three. And that's that's not where a uh, incoming president wants to be. Really what we're hearing now is from um, Hunter Biden himself acknowledging that he, there is an investigation and he is saying he has learned that not from the president, but from the US attorney's office in, in the state of Delaware. And that gives it a degree of gravitas of a political import. It doesn't suggest or mean that that Hunter Biden is guilty of a crime. I think that's important to note, but um, there's really not a taint of the president and his rhetoric and his messaging in connection with this announcement.